Live webcam outside where, again, raining in parts of the area, but for other parts, we're getting kind of past the system and surf is picking up as well. There is an advisory to talk about. If you want to get the latest surf line forecast, head over to KSBY.com and just check out some of the cameras where, again, a few are capturing this rainfall, which is still moving into the area, now moving into southern Santa Barbara County. However, there's this interesting note in here. This is part of the low pressure that is dropping to the south, and this is what produced rainfall, heavy rainfall, and even some hail in the Sacramento area. So not done yet. There are opportunities for showers and even thunderstorms tonight as well. You can see Bakersfield Central Valley also getting some of this rain. However, it's wrapping up in Paso Robles and Cayucas, Cambria, at least temporarily. San Luis Obispo, we're starting to see some showers on the eastern edge off in the hills, but wrapping up in town. Five cities also really becoming spotty in Santa Maria as well. But again, on the south coast, Carpinteria area, Montecito area really hasn't started yet. And snow levels dropping to about 2,500. This is a look at these thunderstorms around Concord and Stockton and Sacramento. Again, those really had some muscle. High surf advisory, 10 to 12 feet, dangerous rip, and that advisory going through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Winter weather advisory, Santa Barbara County Mountains could see up to two inches of snow there. Coming out and taking a look at the system, you can see the cold air rushing in behind this area of low pressure as well. So right now, temperatures are in the 40s across the board. That's really chilly, 49 with rain right now being reported in Lompoc. And the wind situation up to 21 mile per hour winds. Those winds will actually increase a little bit in the evening as high pressure starts nosing in behind this exiting low. Again tonight, that lobe with that unstable air still drops into the area, so we're not done yet with scattered showers and again possibly thunderstorms. It's that thunderstorm potential which has us sort of on that debris flow watch for the south coast. But I think it's another system, not this one, that really garners more attention. That's as we get into Thursday. Here we can see in the microclimate model, Wednesday looking pretty quiet, but then some clouds start arriving in the afternoon. Then we start seeing the leading edge of this next system, and this one has more potential because it's drawing up some moisture with southerly winds as well. So again, here it is coming in on Thursday, lingering Friday into Saturday as well. So how much rainfall are we going to see here? Well, it's interesting because there's another possible system even behind that as we get out to, say, the 8th, 9th, 10th of March. So this is a look at that next system coming in and its potential anywhere between a half inch and an inch and a half. So that's a lot more than this front side system. And if we go all the way out into Thursday of the following week, yeah, we could even pick up another half inch to an inch. So tomorrow's daytime highs in the 50s, as you saw there with breezy conditions in the afternoon. Overnight lows tonight, because the system is cold, we will see some freezing conditions out in the interior. And again, that snow level dropping to about 2,500. That doesn't put it on the Cuesta grade or anything like that. But again, Post-storm air is going to be cool, but we will see some sunshine. Seven-day forecast identifies that Thursday-Friday time frame, and we're watching that in the five-day forecast as well. Because of the active pattern, temperature is going to stay on the cooler side. We're back after this. Jimmy